friends, it's me. And today, I'm stuffy. Them dang histamines. Today, we're checking out some people who got very lucky with food. Today is my lucky day. There are three bags of chips hanging by a pinch. That's what I'm thinking, okay? I'm not able to buy any more because it's already tried to pump out three. Somebody so desperately wanted a bag of Lay's chips that they gave up after three attempts so you could step in and snatch his luck. So I'm thinking if I get a cookie, though, that should be heavy enough to drop right on top of that. Hopefully it doesn't slide off. Hopefully it knocks him off. I think we're going to go Okay, but this dude is a genius. So instead of getting Let's see. another bag of Lay's chips, real time boys. four is a lot. One. I don't blame him. He got the cookie. Is it going to work? I just freaking paid you. There we go. Choose the cookie and then it's going to, it's just going to oh, sit on damn. top of it. It better oh, push it down. Damn. No, this is one I'm going to like. Oh! Hell yeah, two cookies and three what? bags of chips. That's what I'm talking about. I wasn't expecting the second cookie pack to be like yeet. So for the price of one cookie, you got two and three bags of Lay's. Wonderful. You know, somebody went back home Lay's-less so you could have a good day. How crazy is this banana? Yeah, that banana is real crazy. <laughs> it's three bananas in one. Not one banana, it's three bananas. <laughs> okay, I wonder what it looks like on the inside. Is it gonna be like three God. whole things? Oh it's no! It's literally three bananas. Oh, she thick! In the one. Whoa! What? Okay, that's impressive. I've actually never seen that before. I've seen a picture of like a three-headed banana monster like this, but I thought it was like edited. But I never see somebody like actually open one up and show the contents. Like, whoa, it exists. What? That's actually so cool. Three banana in one. Okay, I can't make this up. I received the wrong order earlier. I received someone else's order and basically it's a ton of food that I'm not gonna eat. It's just me and the dog, okay? So you got the wrong order. You probably ordered one pizza, but ended up getting a mac and cheese pie, a barbecue chicken pizza, and what else is that? Another large pizza? What do you mean it's just you and the dog? He looked pretty hungry to me. You telling me if you put that pizza right in front of him, he would've inhaled the entire thing? Look at the look in his eye. Like, try me. Oh wait, there's more? And then I reordered re my order, okay? Then they send me my original order, but then they send me a gift card saying sorry, which is really sweet and stuff. Sorry, what? free pizza next time. Really sweet. But then they send me my old order too, so it's like you gave me How my new order we got on and my night? old order and someone else's order when it's just me and the dog. <laughs> what do you mean we can't sit on the couch and eat all of this? He's ready. I don't know what to do with all this food. I hate wasting food, honestly. Invite everybody you know over. Have a pizza party. She got more pizzas in this kitchen than I did in my sixth grade pizza party. We'd be so excited. We'd beat the other class. we get a pizza party. And we go back to our seat with one of these. Yay! There is this place that will give you an infinite amount of scoops on your cone. Like every ice cream place I go to, they do like maximum three different flavors on a cone. Yes, it's a thing. Like what if I want to pay more? What if I want to pay for five different scoops or 37? No, not this place. No, we'll take your money and give you your scoops. You want every single flavor we got loaded up and the cone is black. I've seen some places that do that. They put charcoal in the cone batter and then you get black cones. Pretty cool. I know it looks cool for a video, but it's like one look away from like top over. It's like ice cream Jenga. This dude pulled the world's biggest Funyun out of the bag. That is incredibly thick. And well, at this point, might as well hold it up to your ear and call the Funyun factory and ask for a refund. They forgot to slice the Funyun. If that is a man hand holding it, it's gotta be like at least this long. The girth on that thing. Yeah, what do you even do with this? You have to break it. It's like, it, it can't possibly fit in your mouth. I wanna know how they let this slide. Y'all ain't got like quality control. Like, oh, there is an uncut Funyun half the size of the bag. I mean, I'm not complaining. It would totally make my day if I got one of these, but y'all just be seeing this go into the bag and you're like, whatever. I mean, yeah, I would too. Nobody's gonna stop production and be like, retrieve that uncut yun. I'm eating these grapes right now and they're so crunchy and fat and so good. Only grape lovers will appreciate this TikTok. I would call myself a grape lover, a grape connoisseur. I am the person in the grocery store that touches each grape to make sure it's firm and crunchy before I buy a pack. I don't care if I'm touching your grapes. Oh, that's nice. Okay, those are real chewy. Nice.
I appreciate a country grape, but that's not how you eat it. The elite way to eat a country grape is to bite it in half. I wish I had a grape to demonstrate, but it's currently not grape season. These days, the grapes aren't all that great. But you bite it down the middle, cut it in half with your teeth. Then you skin each half with your teeth, eat the skin off first, and then you eat the rest. That's how me, a grape expert, eats my grapes. And if you don't, you're doing it wrong. Vending machine at work made an error and distributed everything at once. This has got to be the luckiest day in the workplace. How does this happen? I feel like there has to be a code that you could just put into the vending machine that will automatically eject everything. If somebody can figure out that code, let me know. Everything can be hacked, including vending machines. Did he just pick a cabbage bush? I feel like we in an RPG. Bro, pick the massive cabbage, you know, just pop that into my inventory. I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, shoo! Ah! I am simply allergic to existing. If you see me crying, mind your business. I wonder what kind of GMOs you had to feed this thing for it to grow this big. When you forgot about the carrots you planted seven months ago. That's a long time for a carrot to grow. Oh, that thing is gonna be massive. Oh, I love me a good carrot plant. Oh no, you took its hat off! You know, it's still wild to me that some vegetables grow like inside the dirt. You have to literally pull them out. Whoa! That is quite the girthy carrot. Like, what are you gonna do with all of these? I live in the desert. We can't grow root vegetables. They picked the most suspicious looking strawberries. You know, I don't think they won the food lottery. I don't know what this is. You know, if there was a long berry lottery, y'all win. But like, what is this? It's shaped like a jalapeno. There's so many of them too. Was the harvest ruined? I feel like they put like a red filter on it to make them look redder than they actually are. The long berries don't look very appetizing. I feel like every once in a while, you get an abnormally large berry in your strawberry carton. Like in the middle of summer, it's the size of an apple. Oh, those are some good looking berries. You know, definitely not the GMO kinds. I wonder what chemicals we can pump into these strawberry fields to make it the biggest berry possible. And if you happen to eat those chemicals and get sick, well, oh well. I hope you enjoyed your very large berry. Wait, are those pancakes? Oh, those things are huge. Do it jiggle? Yeah. She's not very impressed. She'd be doing this all day. What I gotta do for a slice? That thing is huge. You literally put a newborn baby and wrap it up like a burrito. I don't know why you'd want to do that when blankets exist. Okay, I think this one wins. Have you seen such a large berry? Oh, I know that thing was good. You know, I'm glad she ate it. Because some people acquire these abnormally large fruits and just stare at them. Like, oh no, it's too magical to eat. Girl, you devour that berry. Oh, I know that thing was juicy. Regular onion ring versus whatever this is. An onion donut. I know that thing gonna squirt you in the eye when you take a bite. Oh, I hate the thick shame of onion ring. I think I like the thin crispy ones better. This person ordered two donuts from a donut shop that was closing for the day. And with the extra dough, they made them a giant donut. Like, oh, here you go. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be good today and just have two donuts. And then y'all just gift me a donut cake. Diet starts tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> These are the most impressive blueberries I have ever seen. I get all giddy when I see a berry the size of like a dime or a quarter, you know, like the big berry. But like, what is this? This is like a golf ball size berry. Where do you acquire a berry this grand? I don't think I've ever seen one this big. Got those straight out of the Willy Wonka factory. For a second, I thought that was like half an onion or a shallot. That's not impressive. Normal size. And then I realized it is a clove of garlic. You know, the ones that are like yay big. That's like double the size of a whole head of garlic. But that's one clove. I need to see the entire thing. Like this is just one. And like many cloves of garlic make up a head. So by my calculations, and my calculations are always correct, it would be the size of a human head of garlic. Or maybe they just killed the garlic final boss. You know, it'll shred him to pieces. Whoa! There is no way. That's like a whole pack worth of gushers in one bag. You, sir, win. You know, this is what I want to see. You know, I get a bag of chips, half of it's air. Bag of gushers, half of it's air. This thing is loaded. Completely stuffed with gushers. I think this is the luckiest one. Doesn't get luckier than this. Dumpster diving for free ice cream? I don't know about this. Unless it's like a Baskin Robbins and it's like the huge pints. Oh, it is! What? Okay, you got a little freezer burn on the top, but who cares? It's, it's good inside. Okay, this is quite the haul. I feel like that's like hundreds of dollars worth of ice cream that they just threw away because what? They got a little freezer burn on the top? You know, just scrape it off. It's good. People find some crazy things dumpster diving. Low key, I kind of want to go dumpster diving. At like an Apple store, see what I can find. Or a Sephora. I bet they got the Sephora dumpster locked down maximum security prison. 
I sent my husband to Chipotle. Why he came back with so many bags? Bro, you're supposed to pick up just your order, not the whole shelf of to-go orders. Unless he was the last customer for the day. And they just gave him all the to-go orders. Like, oh, nobody picked these up. They're all yours, buddy. You know, sometimes they do that. If you're like the last customer picking up your order and there's a bunch of other to-go orders, like I've been offered so much food when I go to a restaurant right before they close. I mean, don't order your food right before they close. That's kind of rude, but I mean, if you're picking up and then they have a bunch of to-go orders, sometimes they'll let you have some. Bro literally hit the jackpot with this. Tonight we'd be feasting.